First of all, I have a present for you. A present? Oh. Thank you. Luciano. It is not me you have to thank for this present. It is someone else. I am only the bearer. Who can it be? Who would send me a present? What a question. Don of Yolanti. Not a man in Seville. Not a man in Spain. But would send you gifts if he dared? It is not. Who would? But who could? No man. As you know. Luciano. Has that right? Have you so soon forgotten your husband, Violante? He. Surely. Has that right. And it is thoughtful of him. Two. Deposit in the midst of his antiquarian researches in Rome, to think of his young wife and send her a gift. He appreciates you more than I imagined. Under his grizzled and scientific exterior, he is a human being. I respect him for it. My husband? But why? Then, do you bring it? I was commissioned by him to do so. I received the package this morning, with a letter. Shall I read it to you? Yes. But why should he not send it direct to me? Your husband is a man of curious and perverse mind, Violante, and, in spite of his interest in dead things, not without some insight into the living soul. I think it gave him an obscure pleasure to think of me the bearer of his gifts. But shall we let him speak for himself? Yes. Read the letter. My dear young friend, I am sending you a package, which I beg you, as a favor, to deliver to Donna Violante, my wife. It contains a gift of an unusual sort, which you as well as she will appreciate. As you know, it is the unusual which interests me. The unusual and the old. And yet, antiquarian though I am, I flatter myself that I understand the mind of a beautiful young woman, especially when that young woman is my wife. I have found her a mirror. Yes. A mirror. Under this name it seems commonplace enough. But when you have seen it I do not think you will say so. It is not the kind of mirror that is ordinarily found in a lady's boudoir. Yet it will give to her a faithful reflection of her loveliness as it is in truth. I found it. This will interest you. In the catacombs. You would not think the early Christians had so much vanity. Yet it was a mirror into which the virgin martyrs to be of the time of Nero looked each day. As they looked, let Don of Yolanti look. Say to her from my dash single quote look long and well into this mirror, and profit by what you see. Humbly your friend, Don Vincenzo. Is not that a pleasant letter? There is something in it that makes me shiver. Let us look. No. Not now. I want to talk to you. Yes. You know what I have to say. I have said it so often. I shall say it once more. Luciano. No, let me speak. You are not happy. You do not love your husband. And you are too young and beautiful to live without love. Please. I love you. And you love me. Why do you not surrender yourself to love? Why do you say such things? They hurt me. They are reality. Does reality hurt you? Are you living in a shadow world, that you should flinch from the hard touch of truth? I say it again. I love you. Before you started to talk like that, we were so happy together. Before I spoke out the truth of my own heart and yours. You didn't want it spoken out. You didn't want to be told you were in love. It was a thing too harsh and sweet. It frightened you to think of. You wanted us to sit forever, like two lovers painted on a fan, fixed in an everlasting and innocuous bliss. Well, you have succeeded in spoiling that. You have made me unhappy, if that gives you any pleasure. It was not I who have spoiled your shadow world. It is love, coming like the dawn on wings of flame, 
and shattering the shadows with spears of gold. It is love that has made you unhappy. You tremble at its coming, and try to flee. But the day of love has come for you. Ah, if it had only come before. Before? Before you married that perverse old man. If it had come while you were still a maiden, free, with a right to give yourself up to it. Ah, you would have given yourself gloriously. It is beautiful but it is a dream, and the time calls for a deed. We love each other. We can take our happiness now. Will you do it? Will you come away with me? No. Then if you cannot take your happiness, give me mine. If you cannot be a woman, be an angel. And lean down from your dream heaven to slake my earthly thirst. No. 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 How did your lips learn to say that word so easily? They are not made to say such a word. They are too young, too red, to say no to life. When you say that word, the world grows black. The stars go out, the leaves wither, the heart stops beating. It is a word that kills. It is the word of death. Dare you say it again? Answer me, do we love each other? No. I only love my husband. I think. I am going. To cry. And tears. Tears are a slave's answer. Speak. Defend yourself. Why do you stay here? Why do you deny yourself happiness? Why won't you come with me? I cannot. Always the same phrase that means nothing. Ah. Violante. Lady of few words. You know how to baffle argument. If I could only make you speak. If I could only see what the thoughts are that darken your will. Don't. By God. I wonder that I don't hate you instead of love you. There is something ignobly feminine about you. You are incapable of action. Almost incapable of speech. Your lips are shut tight against kisses, and when they open to speak, all that they say is don't. What do you expect to gain by scolding me? I gain the satisfaction of telling you the truth. That you have the most cowardly soul that was ever belied by a glorious body. Who would think to look at you that you were afraid? It's no use bullying me. I know that. Violante. It's the poorest way to woo a woman. But I have tried every other way. I have pleaded. And been answered with silence. I have wooed you with caresses. And been answered with tears. I am sorry. Luciano. I want you to be glad. I am glad. Glad of you. In spite of everything. Gladness is something fiercer than that. You are too tame. Oh. If I could reach and rouse your soul. It is impossible. No. It isn't impossible. But I'll tell you what is impossible. This. For me to go on loving you and despising you. I came here today to make one last appeal to you. I don't mean it as a threat. But I am going away tonight forever. With you, or without you. You must decide. Rising, but... I don't want you to go, Luciano. You will miss me. I know. But don't think too much of that. You will find a new friend. If you decide against me. And I must decide now? Yes. Now. But how can I? Oh, Luciano. I know it is hard. But I will not make it harder. Violante, I have sought to appeal to your emotion when my appeal to your will was in vain. But tonight I will leave you to make your own decision. You must come to me freely or not at all. There must be no regrets. I cannot do it. If you say that when I return I will accept it as a final answer. I am going out on the balcony. For a long minute. And while I am gone you must decide what to do. Will you? Yes. And if while I am gone you wish to recall my arguments to your mind. Look in your mirror there. 
Your beauty will plead for me. As Don Vincenzo said, look long and well into that mirror, lady, and profit by what you see. Thank you God. For saving me from sin. Please show us right path. Let us be loyal to your husband and keep away from the devil path. If you like this story, please subscribe our channel.